Well, the eyes of the world will shift to Cleveland in just a few days for the All-Star Game. This is a big win for our city. We've been preparing for it for month, months, but there's a dark side. Human trafficking is expected to increase during the big event. Tracy Carlis shows us how one organization is working to protect the victims. The signs that the All-Star Game is about to arrive in Cleveland are clear. Barriers going up, roads closing down, police out in force. But then there are these signs too, human trafficking. There's always more trafficking whenever you have large scale events, especially for sporting events. Organizations like the Renee Jones Empowerment Center have been preparing for the All-Star Game as well. The traffickers get together from all over, all over different states and bring different women in because it's a good opportunity for them to make a lot of money. For weeks, they've held a lineup of educational events, including partnering with SOAP, Save Our Adolescents from Prostitution and Holy Angels Church to teach volunteers the signs of human trafficking. And then those volunteers took the information to area hotels. Because although you could encounter trafficking victims anywhere, certain areas have a higher risk, like transportation hubs, salons, emergency rooms, motels, and hotels. You want to make sure that people in the hotel industry, the front and the back of the house, are aware because those are the people that are going to go in the rooms. Renee Jones has been in the business of helping human trafficking victims for a long time. She told me human trafficking is a crime that crosses all socioeconomic lines. For 17 years that we've been open and doing this type of work, uh, there hasn't been, it's, I can't even really think of one suburb that I haven't had at least one person from. Over the years, Renee Jones and her center have helped thousands of women. The need's so great that they are about to move into a building twice the size of their old one. Volunteers plan to hit the streets in the coming days to educate the community about human trafficking and the signs to look for. In Cleveland, Tracy Carlos, News 5.